had a extremely crazy week, an extremely crazy weekend. Um, just, whew, like, I'm glad that, I've never thought I would say this, but I'm glad that tomorrow is Monday and then a new week starts, and hopefully this one will not be as ridiculously crazy. Um, I was asked to join the Homestead Network. I was extremely honored and really happy to do so. Um, and so I did an interview with Brad and Krista from the Big Family Homestead on Friday. Was it Friday? Friday, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Friday. <laughs> I've not had a lot of sleep. Um, and did the interview with them. Turns out the audio wasn't working, so we ended up having to, we're going to have to do it later on. Um, we did our very first live show uh, Friday night, and my husband got to join me, and, and that made it twice as fun. So I was so pumped up from that. I had a hard time going to sleep. I finally did go to sleep, and the next morning I had to be up and get dressed and get ready and set up for, because I helped direct my cousin's wedding. So I'll show you a couple clips from her wedding. It was really sweet, and I had a great time doing it. <laughs> so after the wedding I was extremely exhausted we came home um, and it just seemed like the day just did not stop we had tons of stuff to do came home and I actually kind of I just decided you know what I've been busy all week long busy all day today and we sat down watched UT football uh, which did we win? No, but we went into two overtimes. You can't be mad at that. I mean, we held Texas A&M. You, I can't. I ain't even mad. So, uh, and we only lost in like the second overtime. So I was not upset about that. And then uh, I kind of we I, the house was a mess. There was dishes. Laundry is literally stacked to the ceiling. But you know what? I just needed kind of a chill. I just needed a day to just kind of not be running around doing something crazy, not even a day because I'd been busy all day. I just needed a couple of hours of just chill time. So we came home and even though I, I seen everything and I was like, oh, my house, I literally just got into PJs and then cleaned the house <laughs> and then sat and watched football and just chilled out and then spent the rest of the afternoon with my husband. Um, then that night, in the middle of the night, um, Around two in the morning, we uh, the dog woke me up. She was just like frantic about wanting to go, out. and I was like, "Why do you need to go outside at two in the morning?" She didn't need to go outside. The eggs had pipped when we had gotten home, and but I know that it can take a while. But apparently, three of the babies had hatched, and so Winter had heard them, and she was freaking out, needing to go see the check on the baby. So I'll show you the babies really quick, cause guys, I'm a chicken granny. <laughs> it is right now. 2.28 in the morning and Winter decided she needed to go potty and so I got in there and I looked Let's see if I can turn this around I can't and apparently <laughs> I got a big surprise chicken greeny <laughs> this one is the first one uh, George is above Warpington and of course um, Fluffy is above Warpington so this is a purebred a Warpington chick I'm really excited that I know of. It may have some Rhode Island, or it may be a Rhode Island cross. I don't think so, but we'll know better when he's completely, completely fluffed out and dried. Um, and then we've got another baby here. And of course, we have Winter on watch, as always. She loves baby chicks. I know some people will look at her and be like, oh my god, she's going to eat them. No, if I put this baby chick out... Her thing would be she lays down and lets them climb on her and she tries to lick them. She tries to treat them like puppies because she's a weirdo. Is that your baby? Okay. Let me see this baby. Let me see this baby. Let me see that baby. It'd be easy. <laughs> that baby's loud. 
the babies out of flowers. And over here we have somebody else who is hatched but is um, asleep. And then we have some eggs peeping everywhere. So we should have more babies by the time I get back up. So now I'm going to go try to catch some sleep because I still have yet an even longer day ahead of me. Would you just look at these little happy babies? My goodness. My goodness. Cuteness. I've decided, I'm going to tell Jason, I want to name this one Chocolate. It's got a chocolate colored face. Let's see if we can see it better. Sorry. I'm going to go name this baby Chocolate. <laughs> go back and play. Go back and play, little happy baby. Gosh, they're cute. I forgot how much I love chicks. So all that happened. So I stayed up from two o'clock in the morning on, and then we had to go to church. Um, and then after church, I came back home and two more chicks had hatched. One of them was in the process of hatching. Uh, literally grabbed a quick bite to eat. And by the time we got done eating, that chick had actually uh, went ahead and hatched. And there was a lot of blood with it. And it's uh, it had not absorbed the yolk. And it, it was alive, but I told my husband before we left, I was like, I don't think this chick is going to make it. I would say more than likely when we come home, we're going to find a dead baby, which is exactly what we did. So altogether, he has eight live chicks that made it um, eight out of 10. I don't think it's too bad. That's an 80% hatch rate. So I was pretty happy with it. Um, but then we, after a quick bite to eat, we went back to the church uh, to practice because we're going to do praise and worship at our church on Sunday, next Sunday, and I think there was probably a lot more goofing off done than practice. Um, I'll show you some of that. It was, we had a good time. We screwed around a lot more than we were being serious. So, yeah, it doesn't sound too great. <laughs> so, we're doing it a yeah. second time right yeah, there? Second time, acapella. <sighs> okay, so we do verse one, verse two, I did a bridge. Good job. Verse three, bridge. Nailed it, and then bridge I hit the again. Nailed it. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do the last line of the chord. Bridge. What? Last line of the bridge. The one we always mess up. Yep. <laughs> Let's be real. The one I always mess up. Okay, just do the bridge twice. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> practice we came back home and uh, my cousin Jason came by and picked up his babies so everybody was fluffy and warm and dry and ready to go so they're going straight to his house and straight in a brooder and there was one of them it was um, the black copper Moran mix and it's a black chicken with a brown chocolate colored mask and I told him the only thing I ask is that he named this one chocolate and leave its name chocolate so <laughs> so I named one of them chocolate so all together, and I just, it, me and him and uh, his wife and my husband, we all, and my mom actually came too. Uh, and then their three girls plus my three kids plus their cousin Katie who was here. So that is seven kids, seven kids running rampant in the house having a blast with five adults also in the house. It was crazy and it was fantastic and I just, I enjoy the chaos. Like when it's chaotic like that, some people panic. I actually enjoy the chaos with my family. I love the fun, the fun that it brings with it. So that's what we did all weekend. I am extremely tired and tomorrow is not going to be any better. Honestly, I do actually get to sleep in maybe by 30 minutes. 
to an hour more than I normally do. So, I'll take it. But otherwise, I've had a great weekend. I've been truly blessed by all the comments that I've gotten. Um, for all the people that showed up at the live stream, I was really, really honored that that many people actually showed up and, and listened to me and John go on and rattle. So, I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll make sure to post some videos. Um, and of course, you can always catch me on the live stream at 8.30 in the morning um, on the Fuel Homestead page. It'll be the Southern Mama's Coffee Break. And then again on Friday from 8 to 9 p.m. All of these are on Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then I'll do a live stream for the Homestead Network. Love you guys. See you later.